Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace, my go-to for building a website and online shop. Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a master copy of a painting by the one and only Rembrandt. Real quick before I begin, if you'd like to see a 60 minute tutorial of this video with a color mixing demo, along with hundreds of hours of exclusive content and monthly art rewards, feel free to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash happydartist. My main motivation for this study was to practice different paint application techniques, particularly to create thick impasto texture. The original painting is titled The Man with the Golden Helmet, and it was painted by Rembrandt in 1650. And yes, I am aware that there is some debate over whether or not this piece was actually painted by one of Rembrandt's students and not Rembrandt himself. But for the sake of this study, no matter who painted it, it's still a great piece to learn from in Rembrandt's style when studying this new technique I have never used before. I first toned a panel with a mixture of burnt sienna and raw umber plus some gamsol. Then I quickly blocked in the piece by essentially sketching with a paintbrush. Next was time to scumble in the lighter values using white paint. I kind of rushed through the face and body because I was eager to get to the star of the show which is obviously the golden helmet itself. It has such a thick texture that almost feels like a sculpture of the actual surface of the helmet. Rembrandt was able to convey the sheen and texture of the metallic gold without using any actual gold paint. So, thanks to some helpful tips from my teacher, my approach was to treat the white paint almost like clay that I would sculpt with, let it dry, and then glaze golden tones on top of it. Since I kept the white paint as thick as possible to maximize the impasto, at some point it got difficult to control with a tiny brush. So I decided to get creative and use a bamboo skewer from my kitchen. The skewer proved to be perfect for the job as I could dip it into a thick glob of white paint and then gently deposit the paint onto my panel with lots of control over the placement and size of each dollop. I waited for about five days for everything to dry, which was a new experience for me since I usually paint so thinly that it dries in a day or two. I first started on tiling in the colors for the face. The original painting has somewhat of a limited earthy color palette, so I didn't use as many colors as I usually do. After finishing the face, it was now time for the most fun step in the process, glazing. For my medium, I used a combination of oleo res gel and linseed oil. I first dip my brush in the medium and then load it up with some oil paint so that the consistency is about 50% transparent medium and 50% opaque oil paint. Then, when the glaze goes on top of the dried thick white paint, it lets some of the white show up underneath. The beauty of this technique is that a lot more colorful paint will collect in the valleys of the texture underneath, while less of the colorful paint sits on the peaks. I can further emphasize this effect by dipping my brush in Gamsol and then wiping away the glaze on the peaks of the texture to bring out more of the white paint underneath. This results in a very realistic metallic effect since the shiny parts on the gold metal will appear almost completely white. Of course, this still requires some manual fine tuning to finesse the details on the helmet, and I also aged the helmet a bit by varying the different hues of gold. The entire thing can't just be the standard yellow gold, or else it will look too new and sterile. 
So to make it look more organic and have some history to it, I introduced some brownish orange tones with burnt sienna oil paint and also added some darker, cooler tones, particularly in the shadows of the helmet. This study was such a drastic departure from how I usually approach painting and what a fun adventure it was to play around with different painting tools and a new exciting process. Who would have thought that I would enjoy painting an old gold helmet so much? I'm not sure if this is the exact same process that Rembrandt used to create his painting, but it was still fun to give it my best guess. Master studies are not only a great way to learn the skills of these legendary classical artists, but also for me, it's an almost spiritual experience that makes me feel more connected to the history of oil painting. Anyways, that about wraps up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you'd like to see me do any more of these master studies, please let me know your suggestions or requests in the comments below. If you're interested in adopting this little study, I have it listed in my shop at happyd-artist.com. And of course, you guessed it, my eternal never-ending sale is still going on in my shop. So if you'd like 20% off your order of prints and originals, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and and even surprise art gift boxes, all available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. A big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting the art community. Squarespace is the best platform to create a professional website and online shop. Their beautifully designed templates are easy to use for beginners and look great on both desktop and mobile. I've sold my art through Squarespace for almost 10 years and I can attest to the quality of their online commerce features, whether you want to sell digital or physical items. They also provide useful analytics that help you make the most of your online business. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash happydartist to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist.